there's a real correlation between doing things around your favorite things. It's just easier when shit is bad. I really think that everybody who's listening has been passionate about some sort of thing in their lives, something. For example, Pokemon. If you read Crush It! in 09, and you decided to build the blog, which later became the video blog, which later became the podcast around Pokemon. That was like an era where Pokemon was in the culture, but not too crazy. Just Pokemon, right? If you became the foremost Pokemon gal, and you just owned it, and you were just getting by, you had to have a side job, but you'd go to Comic-Con, you'd show up at shows, you'd get an occasional weird $500 sponsorship on your blog, but you were a good business person, and you actually made a little bit more, and you're trucking along, and then Pokemon Go comes out, and you're now on CNN, and on Fox, and in all these places, and now you're getting paid $5,000 to give a talk about it. Like The world would have walked into you instead of you walking to where the money is. Everybody who's listening right now is looking for trends. Oh, these spinners are cool. They're trying to walk to where the world is now and by the time they get there, the world moved on. If you go to your thing and set a fucking flag on your thing, I genuinely believe that there's a lot of moments where the world comes to you. Every kid I grew up with who got talked out of playing video games because they had to be a doctor or lawyer by their parents could have had the talent to make $10 million a year being an eSports star. But in 1988 to 1993, who the hell knew that eSports was coming?